um, what we're going to be debating today is at one time amnesty should be granted to undocumented aliens who demonstrate five years of U.S. Re residency. My inherent, I have three claims. My inherent claim is that the problems that are caused for the current illegal immigrants is by the illegal Im immigrants not having legal status. If the current if the current illegal immigrants are legalized, they will not work in abusive conditions. The citizens of the United States cannot be given abusive working conditions because they have rights. According to the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938, FLSA, the act establishes standards for minimum wages, overtime pay, record keeping, and child labor. By not having an Amnesty for the current illegal immigrants, it creates abusement towards illegal immigrants. My significant claim is, by not having amnesty for illegal immigrants, the current illegal immigrants cannot do anything about their horrible working conditions. Immigrants come to the United States for a better life, legal or illegal. Illegal immigrants try to find any type of job in order to, in order to make money. However, employers take advantage, take advantage of illegal immigrants because they don't have workers' rights. According to Joseph Chemley, Director of Research at the Center for Migration Studies in New York, as illegal immigrants fear being reported to the authorities and subsequently deported, illegal aliens are reluctant to, co to complain about their lab labor exploitation and substandard working conditions. According to John Morton, who heads the U.S. Immigration and Custom Enforcement Agency, there are employers who employ illegal labor in abusive conditions, don't pay, don't pay the minimum wage, make them work hours beyond the 40-hour week work, don't pay them overtime, and don't pay them overtime. And according to John Joseph Chimay, Director of Research at the Center for Migration Studies in New York, granting legalization no, granting legalization will reduce abuses against illegal aliens who are often afraid to support, no, who, are, who are often afraid to report crimes and maltreatment against them for fear of being deported. My solvency claim is that legalizing the current illegal immigrants will help the United States economy. Any state that the U.S. economy is right now legalization of the current illegal immigrants can help. According to Dr. Raul Heniosha Bodilla, the founding director of the North American Integration and Development NAID Center at the University of California, Los Angeles, states that during the first three years following the legalization of the illegal immigrants, the real wages of newly legalized workers increased by roughly $4,405 per year among those in less skilled jobs during the first years of implementation and 6,185 per year for those in higher skilled jobs. The higher earning power of newly legalized workers translate, translates into an increase in net personal income of 30 to 36 billion which would generate 4.5 to 5.4 billion in additional net, net tax revenue. Moreover, an increase in personal income of this scale would generate consumer spending sufficient to support 750,000 to 900,000 jobs. Jobs. In addition, the wages of the native-born workers also increase because the wage floor rises for all workers, particularly in industries where large numbers of easily exploited, low-wage, unauthorized immigrants currently work. Furthermore, wages for native-born U.S. workers increased by roughly $162 per year for the less skilled and $74 per year for the higher skilled. This means that higher, wage, higher wages translate into more tax revenue and increased consumer purchasing power, which benefits the public treasury and the U.S. economy as as a whole, as a whole, there would be a roughly, there would be roughly a cumulative 1.5 trillion in additional GDP 
over 10 years, and wages increasing for all workers. Legalizing illegal immigrants can also help the economy in other ways. According to the Cato Institute, legalization for illegal immigrants would allow immigrants to be more productive and openly participate in the economy, and it would create more openings for Americans in higher skilled occupations. Lastly, according to Job Comenci, Director of Research at the Center for Migration Studies in New York, in addition to paying taxes, <coughs> many important sectors of the, especially agriculture, depend on the labor of illegal immigrant aliens, who are often, who often work on tasks that natives askew. Askew means like avoid. Um, my affirmative plan. My affirmative plan is my plan is to give amnesty to illegal immigrants who can demonstrate that they have lived for five years in the U.S., pass a criminal background check, pay any taxes that were not paid, and pay a fee for breaking the law from crossing the border illegally.